Yes, sir. What up, YouTube? I'm Gil Rivera, and thank you for watching this video. This is a continued behind the scenes art video series of me working on my original self published graphic novel, The Night Stalker. As you can see, I'm starting with erasing some of the pencils on the second page. All the lines have been inked. Now it's time to spot the black areas. What do I mean by spot the black areas? It's when you fill in the shadows in the art with black ink. In this video, I'm using Sakura Micron ink pens and Sharpies. The Micron ink pens are what I've been using since middle school. I tried using a traditional brush like some of the professional inkers use, but it was difficult for me to control. This is why I love using Micron pens. I sometimes use a Pentel brush pen too. The Pentel brush pens are really good. They hold a lot of ink and the control is great. You can create very thin lines to thick broad lines with one tool. When I first started drawing, I had a collection of drawing videos called The Comic Book Greats. They were hosted by Stan Lee and they showcased some of the more popular comic book artists at the time. I bought the ones with Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, Wills Protasio, and the Romitas. There were other artists featured, but these were the ones that I was interested in. They even had one where it was Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarlane co-creating a character named Overkill. And there was one with Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane, Jim Lee, and Wils Portacio together in a video called How to Create Comics. It was really cool seeing them together drawing, joking around, and giving us knowledge about comic books. I especially loved the drawing Jim and Wills jammed on together. It became the cover for the video. I recommend every young aspiring artist to find and watch these. You can find this series here on YouTube. The videos are called The Comic Book Greats. There's even some with Bob Kane, Will Eisner, and a whole bunch, so check them out. They're pretty cool. Anyway, I remember Rob Liefeld and Todd McFarland talking about the tools they use. And I remember going out to Hobby Lobby and buying India ink, Crow Quill pens, and 11 by 17 Bristol board paper. I loved learning how to use the tools of the trade. Another video I used to watch religiously was How to Draw Comics the Marvel Way. I had the book and the video. This gem was also hosted by Stan Lee and it showcased the artwork of John Buscema. John is another amazing artist who drew some of the most iconic images from Marvel Comics during the 1960s and 70s. This is hands down the best art book for aspiring comic book artists. The book is still in print and you can find the videos here on YouTube as well. Check them out. They're great resources and you get to go back in time for a bit. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm filling in the black parts of the female ninja's costume 
and the shadows on the buildings. I like starting at the bottom of the page, then work my way up. I believe the time is right for Night Stalker because I believe people want more adult superhero and comic book content. Now, I don't mean something like The Boys or anything. That's a great comic book and show, by the way. But concepts that are more geared towards adults. Complex, gritty characters and scenarios that are not for children. My ultimate goal for Night Stalker is a multi-platform franchise. One day, I'd love to see a Night Stalker anime series by Madhouse Studios on Netflix or Amazon Prime. A series of Night Stalker RPG video games, a line of action figures, and a series of graphic novels at your local comic shop. I know, it's a big goal, but hey, you have to go for it and follow your dreams. I use the flip method here for the bridge and the buildings closer to the top of the page. This is the fun part of the drawing process for me because you finally get to see the piece that you envision in your head. And it builds the momentum to get it done and continue on to the next page. As I mentioned before, this is a passion project of mine. Since I first came up with the concept around 2002. <laughs> I'm not joking, this has been 20 years in the making, wow. So I'm almost finished here. One down, 74 more pages to go. <laughs> Just finishing up these last few details on the building and some of the details in the background to make them stand out just a little bit, like adding a couple of extra, thickening some lines and adding just a little bit of contrast to some of the backgrounds. If you like today's content and want to see more videos about cartoons, anime, and comic book art, hit the subscribe button on the screen. We're almost at 100 subscribers, so please help spread the word. I love hearing from you, so leave a comment down below. And finally, hit the thumbs up button as well. It's a small click for you, 
but it really helps us. The next video is gonna be a retrospective on one of the greatest cartoons ever, Thundar the Barbarian. So I hope you'll join us and thank you for watching. If you like the content and want to help spread the word, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out our Teespring stores. There are links in the description where you can find merchandise that you might like.